Good morning. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use checkboxes to control what you see on your chart. Let's look at an example. So if I select countries, they show up on the chart. And you can see um, if I do that, kind of shows me the total of, every, of all the countries together. I could select that column of check boxes and uh, hit the space bar and turn all my checks off. The way I have this chart set up, it's uh, invisible. So what I've done is taken and made the background color, no background color and no border color. So when it's empty, you don't see anything. I've turned the grid lines off. And so if I want to just uh, look at care, compare uh, China to the US, China's uh, 10, US is 45. Uh, now this is not comparing the total. Um, if I were to add up the total for all the countries, it's not displaying what percent of the total, it's, it's a percentage of the checked uh, boxes. So you're looking at the total of 45, 55, 58, and that's where you're coming up with uh, these percentages um, based on that total. What's hidden here is some of the data. So my original data was over here, and as you can see, um, actually this is uh, B11, uh, uh, what you can see is that there's uh, a total of 124 um, and if you select everything, you would you would see that. What we what we see here is um, just the reflection of the totals. So what we're doing to make this uh, function work is I've just uh, I got my list of names here. I've repeated them over here, and then this formula I'm saying if D two and what that means is if if D two is checked it's true, and if D2 is unchecked, it's false. So if D2, implicit in that is that it's true. So if D2, then you show D2 or B2, otherwise it's a zero. And of course that formula is copied down. So when you, when you, uh, so when you turn a check mark on, you, uh, you are displaying that information and when the check marks off, you're not displaying that information. So you turn rush on, and then you can see the comparison. Let's turn the US off because it's big. Anyway, it makes a dynamic chart, pretty simple to create. Um, the, the key is um, using this formula here to take the data that exists over here and choose whether to show the data or not. And that this is what, if we take a look again at our chart, and look at the setup, we are displaying E2 to F11. So we're displaying that set of data in our pie chart. And then again, we customize a couple of things and turned everything off so that it, it, it could disappear completely if we went ahead and um, turned these off completely, no chart, turn on a couple of them to compare, chart pops up.